Okay, so um, a month ago, I did a reading on YFN Lucci and Young Thug. And in the reading, I was exploring if YFN Lucci or his anybody in his camp have an affiliation to Young Thug's child's mu murder death at the bowling alley. And indeed, he was aware. I, um, I don't know if I said it in that reading, but I'm going to say it now. I don't think he wanted it to happen because he knew that it could circle back to him. Um, so... Young Thug and Gunna have been indicted and, and a bunch of other people too. So we're going to explore that. But if I have time and I might not have time, but if I don't, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't think this is the end of it. I think they just indicted YSL first. I think they're going to go after Lucci and them after Thug. Mm-hmm. I do. So the earliest evidence they presented in that um, indictment, which was, they said was like 88 pages, was 2013. They've been following these people for a long time they probably got all kind of stuff wiretaps everything so i definitely think yfn is going to be um indicted next and i also think other rappers could possibly be um facing similar fate now on youtube already i'm seeing someone saying um is little baby or future going to be indicted and then the other person um that i really am interested in knowing is it going to be um dirk and otf okay um, I ain't trying to be on no super police shit, so I may just, um, let's start with Thug and Luke. No, well, Thug is done. Um, Spirit, will the feds be indicting YF and Lucci next? Will the feds indict YF and Lucci next? Him and his organization, him and his organization, him and his organization, sorry. Sometimes when I say words wrong, it may make a, diff a different word if you sound it out. It's hard to explain, so I like to stop and say it again so that I don't miss anything because it could be an intuitive download that I um, slip up on. Let me see. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands inverted, and then we have the Tower upright. Yeah, so look, we have a Tower Yes, um, the Eight of Pentacles indicates that they already have enough evidence to um, indict them. Eight of Pentacles is you've done all the work and you're just waiting to see the work that you've done. Um, how, what's, how do I say it? Come to pass, you know? So the work has been done for sure. Give me more on this King of Wands. So I'm definitely talking about YF and Lucci. And because so many names about to be thrown around, let Southern Belle do this so her old behind, I can make sure I remember who I'm on topic with. Because I'm really, I'm not trying to rush the reading, but it is really late, but I did want to get it out. Let me see. Give me more about the thank you. We got the three of wands inverted and we have the seven of cups. Upright. Damn, somebody already telling so I think part of Lucci's indictment may involve um, a rat. And it's a subtle rat. Hold on, give me a second. Let's move all of these over. Yep. And remember, everything I'm saying is a legend and a corner spirit at no time. Should anyone say that what I'm saying is the absolute truth? Tarot is not an exact science. I acknowledge in my description box below that I, yes, I, and any other tarot reader at any time could be incorrect. Um, because of because the present affects the future, especially present um, things we do in the present, a number of futures exist. So for so a better way to put that is depending upon whatever you do now, that's what the future is going to be. But you don't know what what choice you're going to make now. So different futures exist depending upon the actions we have in the moment yes okay hangman Okay, so I do think that someone in the YFN camp is cooperating with the federal government. However, I don't know if the, the information they're feeding them is truthful. 
it looks like to me that um it could be a bunch of made up things it's like snitching but not snitching if that makes sense it's like giving them information and maybe they find the information to be very useful but whether or not that information is able to assist them with um bringing charges against someone i don't know because it doesn't look like this person is giving them anything that they don't already have um or really just telling them um whatever they want to tell them that's not even true i heard hoodwinked bamboozled led led astray in malcolm x's um voice yeah the feds y'all are being hoodwinked bamboozled and led astray it could it could even be that this person that this was planned by the gang for somebody to act like they snitching the purpose of that i don't know but i guess but I guess what you can say is that it can control the narrative of what all happened. So, and maybe downplay a lot of situations. Honestly, it may be that. But if someone is just outright snitching, I think they're, what they're going to try to lay their head on is the fact that, well, I didn't tell them any truthful information. Um, but at the same time, I, yeah, and I don't think the information he's given them is enough for them, like I said, to bring an indictment. It may seem like good information to them, but it's bullshit. I'm telling you that right now. Um, give me more about that spirit, because really, I'm sitting on the fence about it, but let's see. That was too quick. Not that it's bad. Yeah, they're being sold. Um, they are being sold. Uh, something ain't, ain't true. Mm -mm. Queen of Cups, she can be very intuitive. So can the Knight of Wands. It can be, it can represent intuition as well. Um, and the Queen of Cups really represents uh, creativity too. So like cr creating a story. A, a, a believable one at that. A believable storyline that the feds can go by based on them thinking that they got a snitch but really they've planned this uh, we got the queen of wands inverted in the justice upright <laughs> okay um let me see let's get one more for this we have the two of swords. Okay, so it could be possible that this person may be deciding whether or not they want to cooperate or not. And um, also at the same time, determining if they do cooperate, how they will go about it. So it may not be an active snitch, but maybe a um, probable snitch. But it's interesting to me, like, like the two of swords is touching the queen of cups. Again, it's like, Maybe it's not really deciding whether what he's going to do it or not. It's more so of implementing it. And maybe the hesitancy is is making sure the storyline that he's going to sell them, which is bullshit, um, makes sense and, and is believable and plausible. Wow. Imagine that. We got the Wheel of Fortune inverted. We have the Two of Wands inverted. We got the Page of Wands inverted. Pages represent news. Mm -hmm. Will of Fortune inverted bad karma. Two of Wands is, you know, all about planning, um, um, making plans before taking any action on the plans. Um, oh, my bad. I said Page of Wands. This is the Two of Wands. Are there any other pages down now? And then the Page of Wands being inverted, that just, um, it can represent, upright, it represents good news and communication, but inverted. To me, again, it's giving me that energy of like this person is going to talk, but they just need, they're just solidifying their story before they hand it over to the feds. Um, likely, honestly, they had to have some assistance with making the story up, legal assistance in my opinion. And I know lawyers are not supposed to tell people how to lie to the police. However, you know, every day these lawyers um, do things that are unethical. But shout out to my lawyers and my attorneys. I'm not saying everyone is like that, but you pay the right price. They may be able to help you construct some type of story that you can feed to the feds that's plausible enough to make them act on it. And also kind of um, lessen the outlook on the entire gang. Um, more so um, creating the story in a way that it, it's more so we were defending ourselves or we had to take these type of actions. Wow. 
And I'm telling y'all that um, if they haven't already bought it, they will buy it. They will buy it. And I think here and there, he may add a little truth, but not enough to get anybody in trouble. One thing he's really not going to do is say names. He's going to talk about situations, but he's not going to talk about the names of the people in those situations. So, um, and if y'all know anything about the FBI paying informants, they pay informants good money. Like, I'm, um, I'm going to, well, y'all can look it up yourself. The FBI field manual was leaked. And it had um, how, I don't know if it was leaked or if it, I think they offered it, I think. But it may have been leaked and then they just put it out there. And the field manual, I think it said they could pay someone up to $100,000. Mm -hmm. They could approve a payment like that just from initial information. And it happens quickly. These informants be paid. This person is almost doing all this, only the back door turn around and help them help other people in his gang pay legal fees with um yes with what's happening because if you think about it why if lucci his if his, his entire gang gets indicted he don't have enough money to pay for everybody's lawyers but if this person going to do all this and become an informant and then starts getting paid by the fbi that's their way of able being able to fund everyone else's um attorney because they for damn sure not going to want no court appointed attorney this is not the end of it um Let's just do, let's talk about Thug and Gunna. Holy Spirit, um, what is going to be the outcome for, um, let's start with Young Thug. What is going to be the outcome for Young Thug? And I'm going to change my thing. I'm sorry. But like I said, there's just too many names. And, you know, um, I just like to be accurate because I don't like um, watch rewatching my video and realizing I misspoke. But y'all seem to understand what I mean. So I appreciate it being able to be, read between the lines when I say something incorrectly. So, Young Thug, what is going to be the outcome of these chart, these RICO charges for Young Thug? We got the Ace of Swords. One at a time, Spirit, one at a time. I'm not taking all those. Thanks. I said one. Too many. It's down there half the deck. I'm gonna shuffle and pull from the top in spirit. We have the fool. Damn, and the fool was just one of the ones turned up with all the other cards. Wow. The fool can represent innocence too, y'all. It looks like to me that he gonna beat these charges. Mm -hmm. He has a high likelihood of beating them. Let me see. We have the Ace of Wands inverted. Wow. And right, right, we have the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Wands here at the end inverted with the Chariot inverted. No forward movement. Let me see. Give me more about this Ace of Wands inverted because I almost want to put it back because it's not matching the energy. Yeah, we got Death. So that's all about tra transitioning and new beginnings. And then we have the Four of Pentacles inverted. Yeah, they finna lose some big money with these lawyer fees. Damn. Cause think about it, like 28 people, um, Young Thug YSL is also in the same position Lucci and them will be in. But they in it already. All them people indicted. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of attorney fees. Thug, you would be best just giving like one law firm, say two to three million dollars and say, with this two to three million dollars, y'all are going to work everyone's cases. Don't work any other cases but ours. Um, and I think an attorney would be in agreement to that because honestly, y'all are going to need as many of y'all as it is. Y'all are going to need someone, um, one attorney or one law firm. Let me say it that way. Law firm to... Um, work with you all and i'm gonna tell you how to do it get you a law firm that has between let's say if it's 28 of y'all let's say about two um, at least 10 attorneys so they would each have about about three of y'all a piece so each of them carries certain cases now let me put let me go up let me say let's say 15 at least well i'll say 10 to 15 attorneys and then have those attorneys um each work a caseload of all of the people that have been indicted because it's a lot of them. And like I said, you get a ass, I said 3 million, but you know, 
it may run you by five. And then you tell them, you know, drop every other case you have. Um, and this is all you work on. You only worry about us. I think they would be in agreement to do it. I mean, money talks. Money definitely talks. And then maybe if they, um, this is one thing I'm also hearing you can do. Maybe if they help y'all beat it or the majority of y'all beat, um, beat these charges, um, agree to give them a, um, a bonus. If y'all get off. The hair font. No, Ten of Swords is something that um, has to end or will end. There's no getting the devil. Damn. Okay, and then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. I never like talking like this, but let me say something, Thug. I think you need to up your protection. I And honestly, I know Lucci said he wanted bail because some of the allegations are that um, two people... Give me a second, guys. It's like two people who are already locked up with Lucci that are YSL Young Thugs um, camp were trying to get the approval from Thug to um, make another attempt on Lucci's life. Honestly, Fulton County, because I think that's where everybody going. You just don't have, y'all don't have the resources to keep everyone safe. And it just would not be safe to have Thug, Lucci, and Gunna in that jail at the same time. Just get them a damn bond and put them on house arrest or someone's not going to make it to trial. I'm being honest with you. I'm definitely seeing, I don't know who, but I really am kind of getting this energy that someone could, you know, leave this realm if y'all decide to put all three of them together. Honestly, y'all, they literally would have a civil rights violation case because if Lucci is trying to get bombed because people are after him and people definitely are after him. And right now, I don't even know if he's in protective custody or gen pop. But if the thing is, if any of these young men involved, the prominent ones like Thug, Lucci, Gunna, die, y'all have all, Fulton County and whoever's indicting them, y'all have already lost your case. Just based on that alone, that you all were negligent enough to not provide ad adequate security measures and then someone ends up dying in y'all custody and that's open y'all opening y'all up to lawsuits. Y'all would be way better just putting them on house arrest. And maybe even have having them assign an agreement of that you can monitor their communications. Because, you know, a lot of this is surrounding the fact that there were orders being um, given and um, requests for approval to do certain things, which is RICO behavior. Okay? Um, I am getting this energy. There, something, something terrible is likely going to happen if all three of these people, all three of these young men are in there together. Honestly, guys, I can't take us losing any more of our music um, anyone else in the music industry i've had enough we've had enough death with juice world pop smoke who else it's it's quite a few people that have passed young golf how can i even um should have been the first one i said i'm sick of it i'm really sick of it i am really sick of it and let me tell y'all something else lucci and thug crazy as this may sound I think y'all attorneys need to be in contact with one another because i'm certain lucci is gonna get rico charges um, Thug already has them. There's some, there's some, there's this energy, and I'm, I'm being honest that if y'all, I don't want to say reconcile, but if you're, the two of their legal teams work together against the feds, that would be very helpful. Now, remember, everyone is always going to have the best interest of the client that they represent um, at the forefront of what they do, and I honestly can kind of see y'all not exchanging per pertinent information that you should. So let me slow down. I do think that Young Thug and YF and Lucci's lawyers should meet and agree to try to um, work against the feds together. Mm -hmm. Together. Uh, Y'all could even turn it around and downplay it as it not being as serious as it may have sounded. Y'all are entertainers. Y'all do it for entertainment purposes. So yeah, sometimes things get out of there like that and it may seem like that, but really it was just for us to make the blogs. You see, there's a way that this can be flipped. Now this is free game. This is free game. But I'm telling y'all, y'all legal teams need to work together. And then I'm tell y'all what else. Y'all need to be the two legal teams that's working together on behalf of these young men and their organizations. Y'all need to share information truthfully. The, um, the 
vision I got was um, how the CIA and the FBI didn't exchange pertinent information with one another, despite both being federal agencies that, you know, while the CIA worries about international measures, the FBI worries about things that happen in American soil. I mean, sometimes they do go across the world when depending on if someone is involved in the investigation nevertheless if those two agencies had communicated information that they received in regards to um the 9-11 hijackers likely not um 9-11 could have been prevented and i'm gonna say it again not likely 9-11 could have been prevented had the cia and the fbi exchanged information and not try to withhold it from each other like oh this is cia business no y'all need to exchange information and i just saved y'all right there i'm telling you that's exactly what y'all need to do don't be trying to hide your hand or nothing like that put it all out there because y'all need to start getting the story together that this was just for entertainment purposes only and it may have been you know maybe i'm just tapping into that but don't withhold information from one another and i feel like i'm just going in a circle really give me a second let me get a drink of this Okay, so I said Thug has a high likelihood of beating his charges. I'm sorry, y'all. One of my teeth is like broken and I'm getting it pulled. But, you know, they just never have enough appointments. Um, it's like your, 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 your teeth have to like be falling out your jaw for them to be able to get you in. Then it's stay busy. Okay, so what will the outcome be for Gunna? Now, Gunna is kind of weirdly placed in this situation because I, like, had no idea he was that deep in. And then someone even said Jack Harlow should be getting indicted. I didn't know he was in the gang. But someone commented that he's, like, I don't know. Uh, we'll do that another time. Let me see. What is the outcome for Gunna going to be? What is the outcome for Gunna going to be? Okay, we got the Eight of Swords inverted. Upright tower. Tower coming out and everybody spread Page of Swords inverted. Give me a second because um, it's, it's something. There's something. There is something. Because this is not going to keep haunting me. Let's see. Not in that way, guys. I'm just being, I'm being, I'm being um, extra. Here we go. Okay, I am back. Okay, what is this? It flipped over to the chariot. Okay, so um, Gunna, this is like specific. This is specific to your in, in um your situation only. And I'm just looking for my tap my um little notepad so I can write his name down, but I can't find it. But I'll use this one. Okay, so gonna out of everyone, I think you may be the youngest. I think you are. So basically what um, Spirit is saying is that um, you're inexperienced. This is, this is something that you've never experienced before and your age is a disadvantage because you don't know a lot and you don't know who really to trust and who not to trust. First thing I'm going to tell you is that um, there's somebody trying to offer assistance and this could be an attorney um, and they're giving you bad advice. And you may not see it because you're um you're young. He has to be young. He has to be. He can't be that old. Uh, so basically, honestly, before you do anything, you kind of need to consult with one, someone that has um more experience than you because it's the, I'm getting this energy of someone who's working for you legally, not doing um enough to get you the best outcome as possible and you can't see that because you're inexperienced um give me more we have the full inverted see recklessness i 
I need more. I need more background information. Gunner really has me stumped. So I'm yeah, I'm just gonna really stick with that. Um, but let me see. What am I not seeing about Gunner Spirit? What am I not seeing about Gunner? not what I'm not seeing. It's what Gunna's not seeing. I really don't want to say this, but I might have to, unfortunately. Yep, I'm going to have to. Okay, so Gunna, this is what I'm going to say. And this, remember, this is all alleged and, you know, nothing I say should be taken as meaning that it is the absolute truth. I said I can be wrong. Honestly, Gunna, I hope that people you're as solid for will be as solid for you. I.e., I don't know, someone may start talking. I don't know. It definitely is giving that energy a little bit. But you, like... <sighs> Spirit, show me his level of involvement in these um, all of these allegations. Because he just seems like a new member of YSL. Like, he's a fairly new rapper. <sighs> it's someone's inverted. Somebody going to turn on him. Somebody that he cares about. But it's like I can't pinpoint where at what point in this matter this happens. Give me more. This is crazy. Let's see. Knight of Wands inverted. The lovers. Page of Wands. It's gonna get news about what? About what? Ace of Swords. This energy almost is as if someone that he dealt with is going to tell law enforcement something and it doesn't appear to be truthful because this eight of swords is definitely inverted. Whoever this person is, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I can definitely put it into the universe and maybe your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides will get send this message to you. Whoever this person is that I think that is going to be like Judas and betray um, Gunna, I would be very careful. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and this that's just because uh, of what I see. Um, it may be temporarily um, alleviating to... I don't know if I should have said alleviating... It, it's probably a temporary relief to kind of um, stick it to him. Like, it's like you've been waiting for this moment as if don't act like nobody can stick you or people you care about, especially because you're lying. Because the um, energy I saw with that Ace of Swords inverted, you're not telling the truth. Why are you inserting yourself in a matter that don't involve you to get clout? But you go up there lying on them like you want to. You're going to have, you're not going to be very liked, well liked. And your ass going to have to move out the city or do something for protection. Um... Honestly, this is crazy. I could really see the gunner be like, well, damn, somebody switched on me. But hey, they did tell the truth. But anyway, but for the record, you know, snitching just isn't okay. But if you come with these lies, you really bound to piss somebody off. You know, sometimes it's best just to eat your food and, and mind your business. Don't, in, don't get into all of this. Okay. So um, I'm going to explore other people in death tomorrow because you know it is getting late and but first before we leave let's see if the um atlanta um da or whoever whoever will there be further indictments against other organizations besides yfn and ysl yep and they come in quickly because we got strength Eight, strength to the eight of wands something's moving quickly someone may get indicted for animal cruelty you heard it here first queen of cups inverted yep give me more about this queen of cups inverted spirit this is rep that's representing someone that's a part of the um prosecuting team temperance Let's see 
the world inverted. And then we have the three of cups. This is very stressful on them because they scared of these people. Even though they're part of the prosecution, like trying to take down the bad guy, they're scared. Um, but they do um, hope to celebrate a victory um, and possibly getting them jail time. But in the meantime, in the in-between time, if you're going to be this shaky, you probably don't need to work this type of job. And that's all I'm saying on that because that, that, that's only harmful. Acting like three of swords inverted. chariot yeah but they're gonna keep going despite being fearful the magician personal power so basically what i'm seeing is someone um that that yes there may be more prosecutions but uh, honestly, these people who are prosecuting the case, and I can't pinpoint who this is, someone's scared shitless. So there must be a lot that we are not aware of that has happened that, you know, can um, indicate to someone that these probably are not people you want to be on their naughty list. And I understand it is scary. Sometimes doing the right thing is scary. Um, and I'm not necessarily saying that they did the right thing um, because, you know, everyone is innocent until proven, proven otherwise. They've only been indicted. They haven't been um, convicted. So this is just an indictment. This is the beginning. And a lot of times when they come down with all these um, different charges, they know that it's way too many charges, but they know that a lot of them are going to get thrown out. But they like to put everything down that they can to ensure that they cover all their bases. So what does stick, sticks, and they can at least work on that. They know that all them charges may not apply, but... Um, it's going to really be determined when they start having their pre preliminary hearings and what have you to see what will stick and what won't. But, um, of course, Gunna um, and Thug's lawyers are going to fight to get anything thrown out, thrown out. And my understanding is um, Thug has two charges and then Gunna has one charge or it could be swapped. That's not a lot. All they got to do for these one and two charges they got is figure out ways to say that this, this isn't appropriate and get it thrown out. But the fact that um, the um, streets were saying that, well, not the streets, the media reported that they had, they've been, they went back as far as, far back as 2013. They've been w watching them for a long time. Spirit, give me an overall outcome about um, this whole situation. Let's see. And I just don't, the King of Swords with the Seven of Cups. got the nine of cups okay and then this is three okay so the prosecution y'all bit off more you more than you can true i get um chew true more than you can true give me a second that the prosecution y'all bit off more than you can chew unfortunately i think y'all are going to realize y'all indicted way too many people it is going to be a pain to keep up with this many people because on thug and gunner's indictment it's like 20 something people 28 i think y'all i mean i understand because it's like an organization thing y'all had to do it at all at the same time however i hope y'all have plenty of interns and people assisting you with um prosecuting this case because the simple fact that y'all are prosecuting so many people is going to be um detrimental to your case but one thing about i'm definitely getting this prideful energy the prosecuting team is very prideful too prideful to say well you know we're doing the most let's try to just work on these few and then go and get them y'all want to do everybody at the same time and y'all gonna end up i'm sorry these people y'all have money in the back end of the state but y'all don't have half as much money as thug and gonna do plus the people that in the industry that like their record labels who really care about them and is going to help them if they need to um it's going to be hard to make a lot of these charges stick so I hope y'all have adequate and sufficient evidence. And, and if you've been um, on this since 2013, you, sh you better have something, hell. But y'all bit off more you can, than you can true. This is going to become overwhelming. And that's what they. That's probably what's going to happen. And I don't feel like saying this is going to hurt um, their defense. But what's going to happen is, is the defense for Gunna and Thug are going to throw so much paperwork at the prosecution's office that they just can't read it all. 
their their goal is to bombard it's like it's that's kind of like a tactic of war you know come in strong you know and then um establish yourself and that's what they're going to do this legal team is going to come strong they are going to drown y'all in paperwork and policy and procedure constitutional rights um violations what have you any type of out that they can find they will intend they intend to apply it to this situation to get their clients off and that's what good lawyers do but y'all just are indicting too many people that's why i said they starting with ysl but they moving on to other people um on down the line so tomorrow I'll do one over other rappers that I've heard that may um, have pending indictments. Okay, so I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. Remember, I'm still open for private readings. Thank you. Until next time.